playing Total War and I got a um uh, another battle replay is um me Salukids and my opponent was the Adrician Kingdom and I always thought the Adrician Kingdom were a really hard faction to use. I mean um whoops. And um uh, because they've got low armor, especially with these fresh warriors, and uh They've just got nothing going for them other than, other than that charge. I mean, Thracian Warriors and... Where are they? He's got some Thracian Nobles as well. Thracian Nobles, I mean, they're... If you look at the... Uh, look at their uh, melee attack, it's really high and so is their weapon damage. And their charge bonus is just you know, 63 for a um, ground uh, infantry unit. It's massive. But... 15 melee defense and 55 armor for an elite unit is really horrible. So, took advantage of this because I know Adrian Kingdom isn't going to do well with uh, against missiles. And same with these guys, even worse. 30 armor with the Thracian Warriors. And uh, he's got a couple of Dyson spears as well, heavy spears, I think. No, just hits, just spears. He's got, uh, and some hoplites, as well as quite a few peltas and some noble Thracian horsemen. And a noble horseman somewhere, didn't he? Royal Cavalry. And he's got quite a few Peltas. And in my army, I've got my general is in a Silver Shield Swordsman. Probably should have put him in a um, something like a Shield Bearer. Kind of looking back at the battle. But these are. Uh, I just thought he'd do better against uh, Thracian Warriors and that. But he did bring quite a f bit of cavalry. I've got four heavy archers, Syrian heavy archers. I brought these guys because if he brought those uh, Thracian Peltas, but he brought Dyson, uh, did he? Thracian Peltas, yeah. Uh, these guys will stand up for quite a while because they got um, armor, quite a bit of armor, kind of like Cretan archers, and they've got 150 range. I mean, yeah, 150 range. And I brought these Levy pikemen, cheapest pikemen, just to break the charge of the uh, Thracian warriors because now they got a great charge. <laughs> And on my flanks, I've got two Persian hoplites. So they're just um, they're just a bit of holding power, a bit of bait, maybe, and um, also to get rid of the cavalry. But he brought quite a bit more cavalry than I anticipated. And my plan was to hide a shock cavalry, but I didn't really have anywhere to hide it, so um, didn't didn't do that. Uh, yeah, so I've got this Omega cavalry. Just uh, sitting here, as well as three medium cavalry, which just a bit better than citizen cavalry. And he moves up his um, uh, fresh and pelters in my. He does move this royal cavalry in, and he's that's his only royal cavalry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And that's his best cavalry unit as well. And a lot more. They cost a lot more, and they are a lot. They are a lot better. Than these medium cav. So I just bring these guys in just so they can deal with a few um, fresh and pill tests, maybe even expend a bit of their ammo. And I know they are gonna die, but uh, yeah, it's just a little tactic. And I want these guys to come in and I'll focus fire on these royal cavalry. And I do lose a few men to those uh, Japanese there. And then I charge in. I lost a lot more than I thought I was gonna. And get a charge, but really not gonna do that well. And then again, he's actually throwing javelins of his own units. But I start um, focus firing on this raw recovery, and I didn't put it on heavy shot. I really should have, but uh, they don't they don't die very fast. I thought they would have died a lot faster <laughs> than my men did. And um, yeah, only 20 kills. And he starts throwing pelt, uh, starts throwing javelins, not at my pikemen, but <laughs> oh, yeah, through the head. Yep, uh, at my archers, which is good because <laughs> I need them. <laughs> well, I need them more than the pikes. Anyway, I got 40 kills on them. It's all right. And at the same time, I've engaged his horsemen over here, and I've started using these hoplites. I kind of feed them. I feed them through here, and then I go. Straight for uh, the charge, so I can surround them, and I pulled out those medium cav whenever I can. And he keeps throwing javelins at my Syrian archers, and I, it's not great. So <laughs> I keep moving them back, and um, 
these pills I think have run out of ammo. No, they've still got quite a bit of ammo. And these ones have run out, so they're useless and they're just going to charge in. But the ones that haven't run out of ammo, take advantage of uh, these low armoured pikemen. And he moves over with these Dyson Spears to reinforce my cavalry. So I try and, uh, try and block him with the pikes, and he does get me before the charge there, which isn't good, but uh, they do put down their pikes. And um, he has this Thracian pelt that's just hidden, a full unit of it. Which didn't really want that. <laughs> so, um, and also these shields, silver shields are throwing their javelins as well. And my Omega Cav is just running uh, charges uh, on Dyson Spears, and he just broke a horseman there, which is pretty good. And um, I've got these hoplites spread out, just so that they could take in a lot of men. But, uh, they and they they actually turned out to be a lot better than I thought they would be. <laughs> they hold out these Dyson spears and retain a lot of them in. And I focus fire on a lot of his Thracian warriors because because on the first volley they're losing men, which they shouldn't be if there were any other elite unit. And 20 men before they've even got to their pikes. And he does get a charge in on my archers, but I reinforce the Omega Cav, Aga Omega Cav, and the Silver Shield Swordsman. And he does also get a recharge on these weak pet, uh, pikemen, which will help route them and bring a hole in so that he can bring his men in and just pull in the chain route. Chain route. But he leaves these guys here. A bit odd. I think he forgot about them. But uh, anyway, I'm, not, I'm just I just take the opportunity, start picking off shots. And these Persian hotbots have only lost one man. It's kind of... I was surprised how well they, they performed. And, um... Anyway, these guys start to rout. They don't get the, don't get the rear charge. It's pretty good. <laughs> I've only got 50 men left there. And, uh, anyway, the cavalry route. And I do pull in a charge here just as my, um... Pikemen route as well. And his Dyson Spearmen start wavering. And I wanted to bring this... Uh, getting a bit of frames here. And um, I wanted to bring this Agamir Cav in around over here and start going charges, but he's kind of needed to get these the rest of Royal Cavalry away. <laughs> Only six men, and um, this medium cav is needed over here. So I was going to bring this cavalry in, smack bang there, and then go straight through, and then go bang, 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 start to do recharges. And these guys aren't doing a thing anymore. Only got 12 kills as well. And these guys are getting picked off by these Frasian Peltas. It says these guys are very heavy Peltas. Missile infantry. They're not mean. They've only got 15 armor. It's definitely not something of a Peltas unit. They're heavy, very heavy. Something like very heavy is a Perioikoi or a um, Libyan. But uh, these guys, they've only got the good melee attack and weapon damage. That's it. I mean, they're good in melee. That's but then their uh, armor takes them away. So they're, they're not a heavy, heavy bit. I've seen that they shouldn't be classed as one. But um, anyway, these are uh, levy pikemen. They're holding out quite well. And this one isn't doing a thing. <laughs> and, uh, I've put a shield wall on these uh, silver shields just to hold the gap here, so that they can't reinforce their men from the from behind. And he does get these mercenary hoplites in, uh, into my Syrian every archers. So I kind of sacrifice this one here and pull these guys back and take shots at them. And here's what I was talking about. I brought these guys in in the back and they could reinforce anyone. And I think I start winning the fight over there, yeah. Start winning that fight. And, uh,. Take shots at the uh, Thracian nobles who did get a really good charge on the back of these guys here. And that's not going to go well for the pikemen at all because they were right about to break. Yep. And I don't want them to break because they're doing quite a good job <laughs> at keeping these mercenary help blocks back. So I try and reinforce them with these uh, Agamemnon Cav, but they, just, they break anyway. And his Thracian nobles have lost quite a few men as well. And the medium cav are just running rear charges over here. Even though they're in melee cav, they'll still do well. And look, Persian hoplites only lost 12 men to their 50. I thought that was pretty good <laughs> for a cheap unit. And um, 
they were out. So I can use these silver shieldsmen, silver uh, elsewhere. These guys are pretty much really good um, for axe swords. They work well and uh, keep taking pot shots at these fraction nobles. Cause they, they're going to keep on getting those charges. Quite good, see? <laughs> Just drop down my guy. And he's using these Dyson Spears and Mercenary Hoplites to continuously chase down my men. And I've still got quite a few men left on this Agamemnon Cav. So, um, try and do a few charges with them. And, uh, see, I've got a lot of free units over here. And, uh, these ones start the route. And I just hold these, uh, Thracian nobles, these pikemen whilst running charges on these mercenary hoplites to try and break them and I've won the battle over here so I'm going to be able to reinforce all this area and this one starts to route and runs away yep and followed soon after by his general and that's it for that one and uh, so I mean my heavy archers deal right I mean they kind of pay for themselves but and wasn't expecting much from these levy pikemen, but they did, did significantly well. They, they, a lot of them died, but uh, they had a, they were faced up against a lot of elite units, so kind of expecting them to die. And these Persian hoppers did surprisingly well. I mean, these guys lost what, 20 men, 10 men. They did a uh, you know, 55 kills against. I think they were seeing Dyson spears. It's pretty good. And uh, these Agamir Cap did pretty well as well. And these medium cap, this one didn't do very well, nor did that one, but that one did great. And uh, for his units, I mean, his fraction warriors is 0, 4, and 1. I mean, they're definitely not worth it. His best units were the Thracian Peltas, which did significantly well, because they were able to get those shots off of those uh, Syrian archers. Also, I don't know where these guys got these kills. Ah, it would have been against my archers. The uh, hoplite that charged the archers, these Dyson Spears didn't do very well. And his Royal Cavalry really could have done better. And so did his horsemen. They could have done better. He should have uh, exploited the Missile Cav that the Idrisian Kingdom have. They're really good. And um, his Fraction Noble. 165. Still not worth it with such an expensive unit. He should have been able to maneuver these guys better. Got in for a lot more rear charges against the pikemen. And uh, just been, that would have made my job a lot harder. Anyway, um, thanks for uh, watching. And hope you enjoyed the battle and learn something. <laughs> See you later.